might top the charts for 2021. Uh, so many people have got their money on Lad Baby. So they have teamed up with Elton John and Ed Sheeran, redoing their new Christmas song, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, but what does uh, Jessica Biggs think about it? Jessica is a music journalist, a woman in the know. What can you tell us? What do you reckon then? Morning. Um, well, I think Lab Baby does have one of the best chances of getting to number one. Unfortunately. <laughs> you say unfortunately. Why? <laughs> I, I'm not really um, a fan. I, I think the song, um, he's got a terrible voice. But on the other hand, he does have um, music royalty on the track with him, doesn't he? With Elton and, um, and Ed Sheeran. And also, it's, it's putting a lot of money into charity. So I give them that. But uh, it, it really wouldn't be a song that I would be rushing out to buy um, their version anyway. So However, you, you don't want album. to, you don't want <laughs> That has got hit written all over it, surely. <laughs> you know what, now that you played it there, I, I did have to have a little bit of a bop around. But <laughs> it, it really, um, I think the fact that they are going to be making history, um, I think it's great for anybody really, isn't it? Um, and, and the fact that it's also going to be putting a lot of money into Trussell again. Um, you know, the last time that this, um, happened if they have four consecutive um, number ones that will be history um, the last people to have four number ones at Christmas were the Beatles but they weren't consecutive so um, it, it will be good um, if they do that and either way it's going to be uh, maybe a win-win for Ed and Elton. Well I was but, thinking they're the ones who've been shrewd here because they want they did I'm sure they wanted a Christmas number one but they knew yeah. that Lad Baby might pick them to it so why not uh -huh. just team up with them with a remix and it doesn't matter they could be one and two. Absolutely, definitely. But then again, you know, um, there are so many people out there at the moment who are bringing out um, their songs. And so the charts this year, is just, it's really, I think it's got a, a really nice, festive, magical feel to it with the top 20. It's just so many um, songs in there that have, have come back again, you know, like... Um, there's, there's like a, there's Adele there, obviously, but um, we've got Olivia Dean is um, bringing a new track in um, called This Christmas Song. So that's a reissue of the Nat King Cole's hit, uh, George Ezra, which you played earlier. He's got um, Come Home for Christmas, which meant when Bon Jovi did that years ago, yeah. got to number seven. So it'll be interesting to find out where George Ezra comes this year. Um, Elton Step Into Christmas has come back. Um, Band-Aid are back again. So many. The people that I always think uh, always quids in is Kirsty McCall and Fairy Tale of Christmas the Pogues because yeah. every year it's in that top ten, isn't it? I mean, the royalties yeah. are flying there, surely. Absolutely, yeah. Mariah Carey, George Michael as well with Wham, yeah. They're back again. Um, and, and Chris Rea as well, Driving Home for Christmas. Who doesn't love that one? Yeah, to be fair, to be fair. I mean, uh, honestly, I love seeing the Christmas charts filled with old classics and new. Mm, um, I wonder yeah. what will it take then for, if well, let's assume Lad Baby have got it, what will it take mm -hmm. to knock them off the top spot? What could an artist do? Well, I, I mean, I think they've got the public buy-in, haven't they, with the um, charity aspect. And we have, there are quite a few other ones who have got a charity aspect to them as well. So I think that always helps um, with the public buy-in. But I think songs that are jingly and have got a, a nostalgic feel to them that take you back to your childhood, that make you reminisce about Christmases of the past. I think those are the ones, if they've got that kind of theme, that are the ones that um, might do very well. So ABBA, Little Things, um, although that doesn't have the um, charity aspect, you know, it's got a fairy tale quality to it. So I really like that one. Um, and then, you've, well, there's the Portraits, who um, <laughs> they're doing an Ed Sheeran cover. But... Um, yeah, but theirs, theirs is going to um, people who have, have lost their lives through COVID. And so the money's going to cruise bereavement. Um, you've got the Have a Word podcast and 
their um, money would be going to children's charities. So, as I say, you know, lots of public buy-in. Jessica, it's been great to talk to you. Jessica Biggs is a music uh, journalist there, pointing out that there are lots of other charity singles out there that you might want to support this Christmas.